Hello and welcome to the next Indishop 7 tutorial about the new content management system of Indishop 7.4. This is the fourth part of the CMS bundle concerning the creation of product detail pages. Please note, additionally to this tutorial, you can follow the click stream by using the summary below the video. Remember, in the last part you learned basics about the individual category view by using placeholders. You inserted default component templates for each category page template and added category image teasers for a better layout of your online shop. This part is a summary of the steps of part 2 and 3. To solve the product view problem, you need to create a page template first. Therefore, switch to the data view. And choose Content – Page Templates. Create a new one. Enter his name, product page. And select as template, standard page. Click apply. Now you have the possibility to assign components to the slots of your page template within the data view. You can use the predefined header and footer components of part 1 of the CMS tutorial bundle. Follow the same steps you did before in the design view. Now that header and footer are ready, you have to define another component to display the product details in the content slot. Therefore, click New in the content area. Enter a name. and select Product Page Component as Template. You have the possibility to choose between Component Template and Component. If you need an extendable element with another slot, use the template. Otherwise, choose Component. In this tutorial, select Component Template and set it active. Then click Apply to finish the completion of the page template. Go to Content, Page Variants and create a new fallback page for products. Enter a name. And select the newly created page template. Click Apply. Go to Content, View Contexts and assign the fallback page variant to the product page. Perfect! Now you are able to visit products in your storefront. If you have any questions or need more information, please take a look into our knowledge base or contact our support team. Thank you for watching and see you next time.